Welcome to your practice. My name is Sophie and today we are doing a prenatal soft and strong flow. And this practice is great for anyone in any trimester. And even if you're not pregnant, you can absolutely do this practice as well. I'll just be giving plenty of modifications and awareness for the growing belly. And um, if you want a blanket, grab one now. I'm starting sitting on it. If you don't have one, don't want one, no big deal. It's just nice to have a little bit of height and maybe some padding for the knees if you're on a hard surface like I am. So when you're ready, come to a comfortable seated position. Lengthen your spine, roll the shoulders back and down, sit tall. Close the eyes if you'd like. Place your hands on your belly. We're going to connect to baby and connect to ourselves, connect to our changing bodies. So let's take an inhale and feel the belly fill up. And as you exhale, the navel draws in and the body settles. Inhale, we fill. You feel the expan expansion of the belly. Exhale, there's a sense of arrival, arriving here on your mat with your baby. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Let your hands rest back on your thighs. Close your lips and breathe in and out of the nose if possible. If it ever feels too restricting to do that, you're welcome to breathe out of your mouth or in and out of the mouth. Just take another few moments to connect to your baby. Recognize where you are right now in this stage of life. In the grand scheme of things, it's such a fleeting moment. Each pregnancy. So just recognize how you're feeling today. Thank your body for the magic that it provides the magic that it is. And send love to your baby. And begin to softly blink the eyes open. And we're going to take some circles around. You can go either direction. So just begin to take circles within your seat. And we're going to kind of add in cat cow. So as you go back, you're rounding into cat. And then as you go forward, your shoulders go back. So you're in spinal extension into a back bend. As you go back, you round, involve the neck too, chin down. And then go forward and around. Let's do three more circles. Imagine like you're smoothing out the circle. And the next time you come forward, switch directions. We'll take three more in this direction. Take your time. One more full circle. And the next time you come forward, you'll stay there and then come to center. Now take your arms behind you and with your right hand, grab onto your left wrist. Right hand grabs onto left wrist. Then bring your chin down to your chest and tilt your head to the right. Chin down in a slight tilt. The left shoulder draws down. Maybe you close your eyes and bring all of your awareness to the left side of your neck, down into the top of the shoulder blade. Slowly bring your chin back down to your chest and bring your head up and switch the grips you're holding on to your, left, your right wrist with your left hand. Chin down, tilt your head to the left.
The breath is still nice and even. And release your hand as you bring your chin back down to your chest and bring your head up and take your hands onto your knees. Take the arms straight up to the sky. Bend your left elbow, grab onto left elbow with right hand and take a side bend to the right. So we're creating space for baby here as we lengthen through the rib cage and the spine and come back to center, reach your arms up, then bend your right elbow, grab onto right elbow with left hand, take a side bend to the left. We're creating space to breathe better when we open up the lungs in this way, the rib cage in this way. Rise back up to center, reach your arms up and release your arms down. Now take your arms out wide and take your left arm under your right arm for eagle arms. Take the elbows forward and up and you can kind of explore some neck movement here too, really gentle if it calls to you. Open the arms back up and take the right arm under the left, eagle arms. So we're stretching the backs of the shoulders and the tra traps and the rhomboids and the neck muscles. Unwind your arms and release them down by your sides and make your way into tabletop. So if you want to use your blanket, here would be a good time to put it underneath your knees. And as you arrive into table, you're going to tuck your toes and we're going to shift front to back. So as you shift forward, your weight goes over your wrists and then shift back and you sit back onto your heel, your heel so you stretch your toes. So just back and forth a few times. Good, then once you come back into tabletop, walk your hands out in front of you for a puppy pose. So set your forehead to the ground. So as we move through our vinyasa flow today, this puppy pose will be in place of our cobra and up dog. So this will be sort of our back bend. Um, if you're comfortable laying on your belly, if you're earlier on in the pregnancy, you're more than welcome to take a cobra or an up dog or a locust pose. Otherwise you'll follow along with me. Take another full breath here. Now you're gonna rise up into cat pose. So come up into table and at the same time round into cat, chin into your chest. Then come back into neutral and we'll go up to down dog. So lift your hips up. Here we are, our first down dog. Take your feet as wide as the mat and then bend your left knee and look under your right armpit. Kind of a, a little twist in down dog. You're really pressing the hands into the ground so your hips lift. And then switch sides, bend your right knee, look under your left armpit. Come back to neutral. Walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. Keep your feet wide. And you can either stay in a half lift here. Maybe if you have blocks or something to put your hands on, that could be helpful. If you're comfortable, you can fold deeper. If the belly is okay, if there's not too much pressure. If you're in your third trimester or Later on in your third trimester, it might feel like a lot of pressure here. And in that case, you can keep a half lift. Good. Then turn your toes out and heels in, come into a squat, Malasana Yogi squat. And take your arms straight out in front of you. So we're really using our leg strength here. And there's plenty of space for baby between the legs. 
And so take your shoulder blades back, kind of like plugging them into the sockets. Good, then reach your arms straight up. And you might feel a big activation of the muscles of the back here. Kind of the opposite of how we typically move through our day. So just try to stay with me here for three. Keep those knees open, two and one. Set the hands down, come back into a fold. Keep your left fingertips on the ground or on a block if you have one, and put your right hand on your hip. Now bend your left knee and start to turn open to the right. You might feel a stretch all the way up into the outer right glute. Take your right arm up to the sky, circle your wrist around, do three circles in each direction. And inhale, reach a little bit higher. Exhale, put your hand back down. Bend your right knee, put your left hand on your hip. Slowly turn open to the left. And with your right knee slightly bent, and reach your left arm up. Take those circles with your wrists. And make sure your neck is in a place where it feels good. You don't have to always look forward or up. I often like to play around with looking down or just letting the head hang heavy. And then we extend the left hand up, inhale, exhale, put your hand back down to the ground. We're gonna walk back to down dogs. Just walk your hands out. And here we are in downward facing dog. Good, now lift your right leg high to the sky. Just keep your hips squared. Option to bend your knee and open up your hip here. And you might circle your ankle. Good, then re-straighten the right leg and keep that right leg lifted as you put your left knee on the ground and come into one-legged tabletop. Then extend your left arm out in front of you. So your right leg is lifted, your left arm is lifted. And every time you exhale, feel like, I want you to feel like you're wrapping the baby in towards the midline. So we're maintaining this engagement of the core. Option to bend your right knee, reach your left arm around and grab onto the foot and kick the foot up. If you have the foot, re-extend. Keep your right leg lifted, put your left hand on the ground and step your right foot outside of your right hand, setting up for a lizard. Now plant your hands down and lift your back knee up off of the ground. Broaden your chest so the spine is long. And this is kind of, there's a combination of like we're sinking into the hips, but then we're also pressing back through the left heel and firming the left thigh all at the same time. You could keep the right big toe on the ground, but open the right knee to the right. Good, then set your left knee on the ground and lift your right arm up, twisting open to the right, untuck your back toes, and now you can roll onto the outer edge of your right foot if it feels okay. We wanna make sure during pregnancy that we're not overstretching. So if, like you wanna go to like 80% of your full maximum capacity where you would normally go when you're stretching. Let's take another breath here and bring your right hand down to the ground. Come up onto your fingertips and straighten out your right leg and bend back into lizard, inhale. Exhale, straight. Inhale, bend. And exhale, straight. Now stay here with the legs straight. If you need more space for baby, you slide their foot out to the right a little bit. Maintain a long spine here and then crawl your fingertips a little further forward. So you're kind of creating this like triangle underneath your armpits. Flex your right foot even more. Hello, hamstrings and calves. Again, be cautious with the stretch. You know your body though. Listen to your body. And then we'll plant down through the left hand and lift the right arm up. Take your left foot a little bit out to the left. Lift your right leg up and swing it back behind you so you come into a modified like half moon, we'll call it, or a side plank with the right leg lifted. Right foot is flexed. 
Good. Then put your right foot gently onto the ground as you reach your right arm over your ear. And then lift it all back up. Inhale. Exhale, right foot down, right arm over the ear. Big stretch on the right side body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Arm over the ear, yes. And come back into tabletop. Onto the hands and knees. Let's take a breath in. And breath out. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Make sure you're relaxing your head here, maybe even shaking it out. Bring your feet together and lift your left leg up. Hips are squared. Bend your knee, open up your hip. If you'd like, without dumping into the right shoulder. So can you keep your shoulders squared and even? Then re-extend your left leg. And keep your left leg lifted as you just set your right knee onto the ground. And now your left leg is straight back behind you. Firm up your core, wrap the baby into the midline and lift your right arm forward. Option to bend your left knee. First kick up, kick up first. Then with your right hand, grab onto the foot. So that way we're coming into it from a place of strength. Then kick your foot into the hand. And if you're not going there, that's okay. You keep everything extended. It's really good core strength. And then if you have that foot, re-extend arm and leg. Put your right hand on the ground, keep your left leg lifted, then step your left foot outside of your left hand. Lift your back knee up off the ground. So plant the hands, firm back thigh, shoulders back, neck, back of the neck is long, so you're gazing down at the ground. Feel the strength of your legs. Strength of your hips. And then put your right knee down, untuck your right toes, push down into your right foot, and lift your left arm up, and maybe you roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Connect with your breath again here. Bring the left hand back to the ground. Come up onto your fingertips. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten your left leg into half splits. Inhale. Shift forward. Exhale. Shift back. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. So we keep the left leg straight. Flex the foot. Lengthen your spine. You might stay here or if you have the space in your body, you might walk your hands forward a little bit. As long as you continue to draw the left hip back and the right hip forward. You're, you're constantly working to tilt the pelvis forward and stick your tailbone back. Now plant down through your right hand, lift your left arm up and take your right foot out to the right like a kickstand lift your left leg up and swing it back behind you left arm up now take your left arm over your ear and set your left foot down on the ground and then lift it back up and again put the foot down take the left arm over the ear Inhale, lift up. And one more time. Foot down, arm over your nice big stretch through the left side. Take the right shoulder out of the ear. And put your hand and knee back down to the ground. Tabletop, and we're gonna go into toes pose. So you tuck your toes and sit back on your heels. Interlace your hands behind your back. Roll the shoulders back, open the chest, collarbones spread wide. Send your breath and awareness to the spaciousness of the chest.
and release your arms down to the ground and come into downward facing dog. Walk your feet up to your hands. Lift up halfway and either stay in a half lift or fold and you'll probably have to take your legs wider depending on how big your belly is at this point. And on your inhale, we'll stand up and reach the arms all the way up slowly. Cactus your arms. Back bend through the upper back, just a little bit. Bend your knees a bit as you do this. Inhale, reach the arms back up to the sky. And as you exhale, you're gonna take your arms straight out in front of you and continue to breathe here. Your arms straight out, your hips back. If it's too much for your lower back, take your arms by your sides. So we're in a half lift. And then slowly bring your hands down to the ground. Forward fold or stay in a half lift. And halfway lift. And step your left leg back into low lunge. Put your left knee down onto the ground. If your um, belly's bigger, you might slide your right foot to the right to create space. And then reach your arms up to the sky. Good. So now press your hips all the way forward and then come out of that a little bit. Like you're coming in, like you're lifting up halfway out of this, um, all the way, all out of this lunge. And now we have more engagement and this is really important for our stability here. Then take your right arm back behind you. Again, as much space as you need, you can take your right leg to the right and we're twisting. Maybe put your right hand on your back if that feels good. If your hand is on your back, reach your arms straight back, reach your arms forward and up, inhale, exhale, put your hands down inside of your right foot, lift your back knee and straighten out your right leg and lift the bottom of the foot. So it's like we're in a pyramid variation, but a wider stance if you need the space. Good, then bend your right knee, walk your hands over to the left side, legs wide, heels out and toes in for a wide legged position. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Now lift up halfway and with your left hand, grab onto your left ankle and put your right hand to your sacrum, to your low back as you twist to the right. And if you feel like you're overstretching in the hamstrings, put a slight bend to the knees if, or if it feels too intense in the hamstrings. Bring your right hand down to the ground, left hand to the ground, and then right hand grabs onto outer left ankle, left hand goes up to your sacrum. Think about engaging your glutes to the sky. Good, put your hands back down to the ground and lift up halfway and walk your hands to the front of the mat again, wide leg so like you're a lizard. Okay, then we're going to put the left knee onto the ground and slide the right foot back, come into tabletop and then we'll walk our hands forward for puppy pose. So you take your knees as wide as you need, forehead to the ground, three breaths here. Walk your hands back up into tabletop. Downward facing dog, lift those hips up and back. Walk your feet up to your hands and lift up halfway and step your right leg back into low lunge. Put your right knee on the ground and reach your arms up into Anjaneyasana low lunge. Take your left arm back behind you, right arm forward. And we have that same action as we did before where we're kind of hugging the hips. Imagine you're squeezing the legs towards each other so you're not sinking too far forward. Option to put your left hand on, the, on your 
lower back. Can you twist a little more from the thoracic, the upper spine? Reach your left arm straight back behind you. Reach your left arm forward and up. Inhale, exhale, hands down inside of your left foot. Lift your back knee and straighten out your left leg. Lift the bottom of the foot. Bend the left knee, walk your hands over to the right, wide-legged fold, but stay in a half lift. This time we're gonna do some side lunges. So bend your um, right knee into a side lunge and either stay here with your hands on the ground for support or you could take your arms out wide. Keep your gaze down, press into the outer edge of your left foot Bend deeper into the right knee, sit back into the hips, and then set your hands down and switch sides. First, start in your half lift as you bend your left knee, press into the outer edge of your right foot. Option two, take your arms out wide, trust in the strength of your legs. Bring your hands back down to the ground, straighten both legs, walk your hands out in front of you and fold like you're in down dog with your upper body. Knit the ribs in a little bit so that we're not overextending in the spine. And then walk your hands back under your shoulders, walk your hands to the front of the mat. Set your right knee down and slide your left leg back into tabletop. Walk your hands out in front of you for puppy pose or you could do your cobra if you'd like. And slide your hands back up into table. And then what we'll do here is make a ramp position with the body. So take your hands out in front of you for well, a modified plank. Now, I want you to take an inhale and relax the belly. Relax the pelvic floor. And as you exhale, knit the outer parts of the core in towards the center like you're wearing a corset. Hold there, keep breathing, but still have this action of hugging baby into the midline. Then take your hands as wide as your mat or a little wider than your shoulders. And we're gonna do some push-ups here. So lower down and then come back up. And again, lower down and back up. One more time. Down, up, good. Walk your hands back into table. Sit back on your heels for toes pose again. Reach your arms up to the sky. Interlace your hands. Reach, 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 maybe a back bend. Little back bend, nothing crazy. And release your arms down. Come back into tabletop and downward facing dog, last down dog. Gently set your knees down onto the ground and we'll make our way into a seat. So you're going to take your legs um, straight out in front of you. And then we're going to bend our right knee first. And if you need more height with your blanket to feel more comfortable here, you can just fold it up again or sit on a pillow. So your right knee is bent, left leg is straight, and we're taking it as wide as we need to create space for baby. Then with your left hand, grab onto your right knee and place your right fingertips behind you. Now you decide how far you wanna go into this twist. If it's uncomfortable, then back off. But you start to twist to the right you draw your right shoulder back. And you can choose. If you want to look back, you can. If your neck is feeling cranky, you might even look forward. And so like you, the twist is really just for your back and not your neck at all. Now, here's a little trick. 
If you take your right knee out to the right and use resistance against your left hand, you might get a little more leverage for a nice twist here. Take another breath. Slowly come back to center. Switch out your legs, you'll bend your left knee. Bring your right hand to your outer left knee, bring your left fingertips behind you, flex your right foot, lengthen and twist. The goal is to feel this in the upper spine. You're either looking back or you're looking forward. And maybe you take your left knee out a little bit to the left, resisting against your right arm, right hand. Slowly come back to center. Take your legs out in front of you, shake them out, lean back, so we were just chilling. <laughs> Good, now bend your knees, bring your hands behind you, have your fingers face forward, and you can either stay here and roll the shoulders back and press your chest up and get this nice extension of the spine, or if you feel comfortable, you can come into reverse table, lift your hips up, lift baby up to the sky, engage your glutes for three, two, one, lower down to the ground, and we'll cross the legs and sit tall. And we're going to do a final meditation here in a seated position. You're more than welcome to lay down on your back or on your side. If you're not comfortable on your back, you could take your blanket or a pillow and put it between your knees and lay in a fetal position on your side. Otherwise, you can come to a seat with me. Close your eyes. Soften the space around the neck. Soften the eyelids and the jaw. Let that belly relax. Especially on the inhale, just let it expand. So we're finding total relaxation with the body. Bring your chin slightly down. And just notice the quality of your breath. Is it fast or slow? Do you naturally pause between the inhales and exhales? Or does the breath just flow with no pausing? There's no right or wrong, just notice. Be the observer of yourself. We observe without attachment. We trust in the process. We trust our bodies, especially during pregnancy. We trust that nature knows what to do. by slowing down the mind, tapping into the body. We allow nature to do its thing. 
we give our bodies, which is nature, which are nature, what's one and the same, but we give it all space to unfold. And we know that labor is and birth are a natural process of life. There's nothing to fear. Place your hands on your belly. Send your baby love. Invite in the mantra. My baby is healthy and thriving and protected in my body. Bring your hands to your heart. Breathe into your hands. Invite in the mantra, I am healthy and thriving. I am safe. Bring your palms together. Start to rub your hands together. We're creating heat between the hands and energy. And then place your hands over your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release your hands down, face up on your thighs. Blink your eyes open. I thank you so much for practicing with me today and moving your body and giving yourself exactly what you need. Please let me know in the comments if you need anything, um, what you thought about it, what you'd like to see next. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so that we can continue practicing together. I'll see you next time.